you can see uh, sand and butter sculptures on display, but there is another set of sculptures nearby that are not as easily seen, and those are 20 pieces that depict characters from Greek mythology. For decades, the Toronto sculptor E.B. Cox's Garden of the Greek Gods was public art, could be enjoyed by the public. You could go up to these sculptures and see them. Now they sit within the confines of the Music Nightclub at Exhibition Place, behind, in many ways, a chain-link fence. A group of art lovers has launched a campaign to relocate these sculptures and make them public art once again. Ed Conroy is with the Free the Greek Gods group. He is also the godson of the late E.B. Cox, and he's with me in studio now. Good morning. Good morning. For people who haven't seen these sculptures, just describe what they look like. Sure, it's... uh a set of 20 sculptures, very large, depicting, as you say, Greek mythological characters. So we have Hercules and Cyclops. Um, They've been on the grounds of the CNE since 1979 when they were donated to the city of Toronto by E.B. Cox. What was E.B. Cox um, looking to accomplish with this collection? Well, E.B., you know, he was, a, he was a great guy. He was really one of, I would say, the most important artists, uh, Canadian artists of the 20th century. And, you know, he was friends with the Group of Seven. He would go up canoeing with the Group of Seven in Algonquin Park. And, you know, as they passed away, he was tasked with carving their tombstones. And so he, he has a great connection to the Canadian art tradition. And with the Garden of the Greek Gods, the idea was to create a massive garden of sculptures which could be enjoyed by the public, but especially children. It was very important to E.B. that children interacted with his sculpture and could climb on them, and with the Greek gods could learn about Greek mythology. And again, these were meant to be pieces of public art. Absolutely. They were gifted, as I say, to the city of Toronto and placed on the grounds of the CNE right in front of what used to be the the horticulture building. So how did they end up fenced away inside a nightclub patio at Exhibition Place? (laughs) That's sort of what we've been trying to figure out. Uh, Unfortunately, a lot of this seems to have happened behind closed doors. Uh, We know that the horticulture building was leased to Music Nightclub in the late 2000s, at which point they began to expand their patio. And none of this was made public. As I said, it was done sort of under the cover of darkness. And sort of one by one, the sculptures ended up behind fences until finally this is the first year that all of the sculptures are completely behind the fence of this nightclub, which you have to be 21 and over to attend. So you can't actually go and see the sculptures? No, you you would have to look through the fence. And unfortunately, we've had reports of people sort of being chewed away by security who tried to photograph the sculptures. Because they are on the property now of this nightclub. That's correct, yeah. Why can't you just move the sculptures? That's what we'd like to know. I mean, it makes it makes sense. It's not expensive. It's been done before. I mean, the sculptures originally were on a hill uh, in Georgian Peaks on a ski hill, and E.B. actually bought them back from Georgian Peaks because he was so upset that the public could only see them during ski season. Yeah. But he, So in speaking with the city or in speaking with the folks who are running music, they've said no, that you can't move them? You know, I mean, as I said, it's it's sort of strange what's happened. Uh, the lease that Music Nightclub got from the city of Toronto, uh, it, it's very difficult to find out what exactly was in that lease. Now, we've heard from Councillor Layton that the sculptures were not included in the lease. However, people from Music Nightclub say that they were. Uh, we're not really getting a lot of clear answers, but, you know, we're not interested in what, what happened 10 years ago. We, we just think that the right thing for the city to do is to move the sculptures uh, to a place where the public can enjoy them and children can enjoy them. Where would you want them moved to? I mean, is there a preference, a location that you've picked out? Um, I mean, I think there's a, there's a ton of places they would be suitable. I think, you know, Ontario Place would be great, the new, new Ontario Place, or, you know, Philosopher's Walk or Edwards Gardens. But in speaking, again, with with the city, I mean, aside from the councillor, what response have you received? Anything at all? Um, You know, it's one of those things where because this this lease is, is secretive. You know, we've tried to get a Freedom of Information Act to find out what's in the lease, and there's been a lot of resistance to that. It's very difficult to get a clear response from the city. What sort of statement do you think this makes about public art in the city. We've had a conversation in the last couple of days about public space when it comes to a sidewalk and what is and what is not public space. What about public art? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a troubling precedent. Uh, you know, we think that by, by this happening, you know, future artists might think twice about donating uh, 
priceless pieces of artwork to the city if they're going to end up in a place where the public cannot access them. I mean, it's a it's a very sad reflection of the state of public art in Toronto, and public art is is very important. What do you think your godfather would make of the story? I think he would be rolling in his grave. I mean, it was... It was so important to him that, that children could interact with them. And, you know, you have the antithesis of that with them being in a nightclub where you have to be 21 years and older to, to access them. Let's see where the story goes. I appreciate you telling it to us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ed Conroy is the godson of the late sculptor E.B. Cox. He's also with the Free the Greek Gods, a campaign to relocate a collection of 20 sculptures created by E.B. Cox, meant to be public art, but they're currently confined within um, a chain link fence at the nightclub patio of Music, which is an exhibition place. We'll put up in just a moment, if you'd like to find out more information, uh, some photos and a link to this uh, Facebook page that the uh, Free the Greek Gods campaign has. You'll find that on our Twitter feed, at Metro Morning. News is next, following the news.